section D starts from page number 61 and here the calculation start from question number 8. The remaining are the theories. From question number 8, obtain the original frequency distribution from the following data. As you can see, for the from the information they have only given the mid value and frequency. So out of mid value and frequency, we will find out the original frequency distribution. Here I kept all the information, just took from the question. I wrote the frequency and the mid value and original frequency distribution means here they ask you to find out the class. Now to find out the class, here is the formula to find out class length. For finding lower limit, we just need a mid value minus half of the class length and to find out upper limit, we will keep mid value plus half of the class length. Now here you can see for the mid value the already information is given and for the class length we can see the distance between 250 and 350. Obviously it is 100. So here we will say the class length is 100. So first of all let's start putting for the first row. Mid value is 250 minus half of class length that is 100. 250 minus half of 100 will be 50. 250 minus 50, here comes 200. That is lower limit. Now we will find out for the upper limit. 250 plus half of class length and class length is 100. 250 plus half of 100 is 50. 250 plus 50 will be 300. So here we get the first class that is 200 to 300 that's what the original frequency distribution same will do for the second row now here we'll get 350 as a mid value and half of 100 this class length will be same for the each and every equation so here we'll direct here i'm directly taking half of 100 that is 50 350 minus 50 answer will remain 300 in the same way over this side mid value is 250 plus half of class length sorry here it will come 350 we are we are finding the second row 350 plus 50 here we get the answer 400 so our next original frequency distribution is 300 to 400 by this it's enough to understand that the remaining class will go in distance of 4 to 5, 5 to 6. So you can continue directly rather than putting a solution of class length. So 400 to 500, 500 to 600, 600 to 700 and 700 to 800. So this is how we will find out the original frequency distribution. This is just for the explanation. If you need then only write in your notebook. Next question. Question number 9. Out of 40% working in an office, 60% are female and the remaining 40% are male. 50% of male are married whereas the ratio of married and unmarried female is 5 is to 3. Present this information in a table. Now here we can see the attributes of 40% female and the male and talking about the married and unmarried. Now first of all take all this information into the table. Here I kept the gender with the male and female, the total of it, marital status that is married and unmarried and the final total. Here they are talking about the 40 person. So first I will write down the 40 person. Now out of this 40, here they talk that 60 person of 40 are female. So first take the total number of employee and remove the 60 person of it. You will find out 24 that is female so total num out of 40 24 are female now next is 40 person are male so first of all take the total number of employee remove 40 person of it you will get 16 four fours are 16 so total number of males are 16 the next day talking about the ratio of married and unmarried females are 5 is to 3 First of all, let's take the total number of female is 24. For married and unmarried, the ratio is 5 is to 3. Now, 5 plus 3 means 8. So, first 
फाइव अपॉन एट विल रिमूव फॉर मैरिड एंड फॉर अनमेरिड विल टेक ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज थ्री अपॉन एट रेशियो नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेशन विल गेट फिफ्टीन एंड फॉर्म दिस नाइन Now this fifteen and nine are the married and unmarried females. So here fifteen and nine. Now after writing this information, one information here is left is fifty percent of male are married. So obviously fifty per the married column. Here we can see the fifty percent of men is married. So out of sixteen, total number of sixteen, fifty percent will be obviously eight. Sixteen ka aada, fifty percent matlab aada. So sixteen ka aada, obviously the eight males are married. So remaining is sixteen minus eight. Here we'll get unmarried male are also eight. Office me total charlies me se sixteen male hai. Usme se eight married hai to sixteen me se eight married ho to baaki ke eight obviously unmarried honge. Now we'll take the total of this. Eight plus fifteen will get twenty-three, and eight plus nine will get seventeen. That's what the solution of the question number nine. Next question number ten. Question number ten. Information regarding the monthly income of hundred worker is given below. Obtain original frequency distribution from it. Now here you can see less than monthly income. The information is given about the less than cumulative frequency. Even the frequency in the less than form, and out of this information here they ask you to prepare original frequency distribution. First of all, let's take this information in our table, in a notebook. Here I wrote the less than monthly income and the number of workers. Now this is the less than monthly income. Here you remember when it is given in the exclusive cumulative frequency distribution. First of all, we'll start less than with the zero, and if it is discrete, we'll start with the first number. So here we are going to make a class. As per the information we can see, it will go with the exclusive cumulative frequencies. So first of all, when the frequency, when in the less than it is showing a zero, ये वाली information समझ जाना कि ये exclusive cumulative frequency है या तो inclusive, but continuous में है, not in the discrete. Continuous frequency distribution में ये information है, तो ही first पहले zero आएगा. So now we'll start with the class. रिमेंबर जहाँ पे फ्रीक्वेंसी में पहला लेस देन में जीरो हो तो वहाँ पे आपको क्लास पहले नहीं रखना है यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद द सेकेंड लाइन सो फर्स्ट विल टेक टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड टू द क्लास टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड द सेम क्लास विल बी रिपीटेड टू मेक इट एक्सक्लूसिव क्यूमलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी नेक्स्ट इज थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड विल रिपीट फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड विल रिपीट नेक्स्ट And continue with the four thousand four hundred. In the same way, complete the information of remaining. Okay, here comes fifty four, and here fifty nine. Here comes fifty nine until it is sixty four. So after completing the class, now here you can see the information is given in the ascending order. It is like uh, reducing. Keep on increasing, not reducing. Three plus twelve, four thirty, fifty-five. So to find out this, we'll take it like if I tell you to zero minus three. अगर आप इस तरह से, I think मैंने आगे भी बताया है. अगर आप zero minus three इस तरह से information लिखोगे, the answer will be minus three. So don't ever take this. Always keep this first line empty. Finding the original frequency distribution, the first number of workers when the information start with zero, keep it empty. We'll start with three. So here we'll keep the three first and then minus with zero. Obviously the answer will the frequency come back to the original form that is three. In the next again take first twelve then get minus with the three. Here you will get nine. Next. In the same line, take the frequency thirty and get minus with the upper one that is twelve. You will get eighteen. This is how you have to keep on going to find out the original frequency. Seventy-eight minus fifty-five. 
ninety-five minus eighty-eight hundred minus ninety-five. Here we get the answer. Now don't forget to make the total to find out is it correct or not. Now in the question it is given hundred workers. So when you make the total, your end should be the total of this should come as a hundred. Next question number eleven. Marks of two hundred student in examination are as under. Obtain original frequency distribution. Now here the classes are given, and the, there is a different classes are given, and the number of student that is the frequency is given. So first let take all the information in the book. By looking at this information, as the value is keep on reducing, the information of this question is given from the more than cumulative frequency. So when we write down. Don't forget to write. Take only the first number from the marks to take the value of more than. Here you can see the more than marks. First, keep the first number from the table, and then number of students which is given in the question in the same way which it was given before. Now, out of this information, obviously here first we'll make a class. So again, we'll make continue with the. टेन एंड ट्वेंटी अब यहाँ पे आपको जीरो नहीं दिख रहा है पहले तो यू कैन स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट नंबर दैट इज टेन टू ट्वेंटी दैट वी हैव टू डू ओनली इन द लेस देन मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थर्टी टू फोर्टी फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी सेवेंटी टू एटी एटी टू नाइन्टी हाउ वी डिड इन द लेस देन उसकी फर्स्ट लाइन एम्प्टी रहती थी वैसे ही मोर देन में लास्ट लाइन एम्प्टी रहेगी ना फॉर द फ्रीक्वेंसी अगेन विल डू द सेम थिंग लाइक टू हंड्रेड फर्स्ट विल टेक द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रॉम द मोर देन कॉलम एंड टू हंड्रेड विल गेट माइनस विद द वन एटी हियर विल गेट द आंसर ट्वेंटी अगेन टेक वन एटी गेट माइनस विद वन फोर्टी दैट इज द ओरिजिनल फ्रिक्वेंसी विल be फोर्टी next वन फोर्टी minus नाइन्टी that is फिफ्टी now we'll continue with the remaining here I complete for the question number इलेवन with the cumulative frequency more than and find out the original frequency distribution out of it next question number ट्वेल्व from the data given below obtain original frequency distribution to find the original frequency distribution in information it is given only the mid value and frequency now when the information is given something like this don't forget to take the formula of class length that is this one to find out lower boundary mid value minus half of class length and up for finding upper boundary mid value plus half of class length now in the information class length is not given so again we'll find out the distance between this two Twelve point five and seventeen point five. Here we can see the distance of five. That is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So here we can see the distance of class length is five. So first of all, first I'll show you for the first row. Mid value twelve point five and half of class length. Same will do here, but this here will do plus half of class length. Twelve point five minus half of five, that is two point five. Here twelve point five plus two point five. So twelve point five minus with two point five will get ten, and over here twelve point five plus two point five will be fifteen. So here will we get the first class length. That is ten to fifteen. Same we can find out for the second one. For mid value we'll take right now seventeen point five minus half of five that is two point five. So seventeen plus two point five will be twenty. Sorry, it's a minus fifteen, and here seventeen point five plus two point five will be twenty. So this is our second class length that is fifteen to twenty. Now that's enough calculation to make you understand that ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty. So this will be continued for the remaining class length that is twenty to twenty five, twenty five to thirty, thirty to thirty five, thirty five to forty, 
45 to 50 and 50 to 55. Here it is 40 to 45 and 45 to 50.